everyone I hope you are doing well today's video is about this wig right here she is so pretty this is the on point wig from Raquel Welch and I believe this is from like a 2019 spring line but it is still available and being sold um, I can link you below if you are interested I believe this comes in about 29 or 30 colors from what I'm looking at now on the uh, wig studio one website and this is the color RL 6 slash 8 and they describe it as dark chocolate with a medium brown equally blended with a warm medium brown so this is definitely not dark if you've seen my the power of hair video you'll know that normally i go with shades like that so super dark like a uh, i believe that that's a stevie and i believe it's like a 1b or something so it's really dark this is definitely much lighter than that so this is actually very much out of my comfort comfort zone when I bought it I bought it on a it was on a clearance deal so I paid much less than what it is normally and I thought well I'm gonna keep it <laughs> and people actually my friends and family actually really like this on me but it is a much lighter color than what I am used to. Okay, so getting past that, this is just a review on the wig. So this has a lace front. So as you can see here, that is a lace front. And this is a temple to temple lace front. Um, I have it kind of turned askew just a little bit. Uh, believe it or not, the this one runs just a tad big on me. It says it's an average cap, but... I think I have a pretty small head. If I can remember, I'll leave my dimensions uh, for my head down below. And I haven't quite trained this one yet to stay out of my face. I think I need to steam it because this one is heat friendly and it has the true to life fibers that Raquel Welch makes. So I'm just gonna read you a little bit about this, what it says. Um, this is the Week Studio One website that I'm looking at. And it's a, a perfectly angled bob, they say. Okay, so you can see it's an angled bob and it has shorter razor cut lengths that caress the nape um, and lead to a clavicle length in the front. So yeah, I mean, it's a little bit longer on me. I don't think I have a very long neck. So it's a little past my clavicle. My clavicle is like up here. So it's a little bit long. So depending on, you know, how long your, your neck is and how big your head is, then it's gonna, you know, change the length of it at your shoulders. There is a center monofilament area. So this is um, a center part and I'm sure that you could get it to change. Like you could probably train it in some way, but I just tend to leave it. I leave it here because it's much easier to do that than to try to train it. All right, so let me give you some dimensions. So the front here, these are 10 and a half. And then the sides are also 10 and a half. The crown, so back here, this is 12 here. The back, so just the back portion is eight. And the nape, the nape back here is four. So it's shorter back in the back here. These fibers feel really good. I don't think there's really any permatees in here. If there is, it's very, very little. I mean, you can kind of make it, if you wanted to fluff it up, I'm sure you could do that. That's not really me. I don't really fluff my hair up that much. Um, I think because I'm used to not having much hair, I prefer to have it more sleek like that. So let me try to give you a view of what it looks like from all sides. And like it said in the description, you know, it is kind of angled. This you could probably do something with if you don't like that. You might be able to flip up the ends since it, since it is heat friendly. You could probably uh, flip them up. But it's made to kind of come down like this. The sides. And the back. The other side. So I'm gonna take it off for you so you can see what the uh, inside looks like. So you can see the front lace there. It does really go from temple to temple. Um, here are the ear tabs. So they're like that 
kind of felt lined, I guess. I'm not sure what that is, but it has the little stays on the inside, so you can move those on both sides. And then, of course, there is the monofilament top, so you can part really anywhere in this space. That's going to be your easiest bet. I mean, you could part it somewhere else and, I guess, train it, like I said, but it's just going to be harder um, to do that. Uh, it does have the wefting, so the open wefting. And then this is like... Um, I don't know if it's silicone or what it is, but it's supposed to kind of form to your head after a while, so that's pretty cool. And then on the back, you have an extended nape with that soft material on it as well. And of course, it is adjustable. You see that I have mine pulled pretty tight, but it does have the Velcro adjusters, so that is a good thing. And you can see there that it has that hair to cover uh, any of your hair that, you know, if it's sticking out or whatever. And that's a good thing. I do like having an extended nape, so that's pretty cool. And without seeing it on me, it might help you just to see it like this. I do think that it's the camera is showing a pretty good, pretty good, the color is pretty good, like what it really is in real life. It's called dark chocolate. I can't remember if I mentioned that. It's RL68. I did mention that, but it's called dark chocolate. I think when I when I ordered it, I expect it to be much darker because to me, this isn't what I would call dark chocolate dark chocolate. I would call something like this um, dark chocolate, but that's what this is called. So just be aware if you want anything darker. So go with the four six, that's called black coffee. And then the two four is called off black. So this is the six eight, which is really pretty. You can see kind of the different blends in there, which is really pretty. One thing I always want to know when I'm looking at a wig review is, does it fit my glasses? So, let me put, alright, so that fits. Um, I've just put them kind of underneath the ear tabs and it fits fine. Let me put them on top. These actually, these glasses are kind of tight so they don't have much room to groove there. So, let me put it over the top and yeah, that goes over, um, over the ear tabs. So, that's good and you can even do that. So that is good too. I'm one of those people who does not like to have hair in my face. So these hairs, I don't have a mirror in here, so these hairs that I can't see are driving me crazy. But um, if you want to style it, pull it back, I just have a regular clip here, so you can do that. And that's actually what I've been doing with this one because I haven't taken the time to train it yet. So I still kind of have those wispies in my face. So I will usually just uh, bring it back with a little clip. Also, this is a square band, which is really cool. I'm gonna be doing a video um, on this pretty soon. That looks really, really cute as well. So this one really can be styled. I wouldn't say, well, I mean, you might be able to pull it down into a low pony like that, but I'm not sure if it will really go up or not, you know, up really well because it's, because it is shorter back here uh, on the back than it is on the sides. But definitely a cute one. I really do like this one. And actually, I like it so much that I'm, I'm thinking about getting a darker color. So maybe the 4.6 because that's more kind of in my wheelhouse. But I actually really do like this bob. It is easy to wear. Uh, I don't feel like it's too fussy, except for the hairs in my face, but that's pretty much with every <laughs> with um, every wig that I've come across so far. I like it. It's a good one. It's comfortable. Um, it has, you know, the ear tabs, the, the soft ear tabs, the Velcro adjusters that I really like. So if you're thinking about this one, go for it. I think, I think it's a really good one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you'll like and subscribe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.